the only person I would really feel starstruck is with Tom Brady because he played with my dad and he's still in the league and I'm in the league. So that would have been like, dang, you was playing while my dad was playing and you the greatest quarterback of all time. Go fetch. Good girl. Hey, what's up? This is Asante Samuel Jr. and you're watching Meet the Pets. I have two welcome to the league moments. First one was my first preseason game. It was like my second snap of my NFL career. I tried to make the biggest tackle of my life because you know, I got to prove to everybody that I'm supposed to be here. That's when they kind of started to respect me and know I was about my business. On the other end of the stick, I'll say, going against uh, Nick Chubb, he was running at me. I was like, I'm gonna tackle him, but kind of like stiff on me and kept me moving. He kind of whooped me up that play. Those are some great players, uh, kind of like the best in the league. Going against Justin in training camp prepared me for the season because he's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now. Being able to team up with Derwin James and being able to have him in the secondary as a rookie, it, it definitely helped my game play. I could play more comfortable because I know I have an elite safety back there. And Eckler and Mike Williams, those guys on offense, they preached to me during the offseason and during, during the season, like next, next play mentality because if something bad happens, you can't really dwell on that too much because they're going to come right back at you, so you got to be prepared. I did the same thing I would have did if I was first round or if I was undrafted. I just try to keep a work hard mentality and just keep your head down and grind. Just do my own thing and compete with myself. Going against Justin Herbert, in my opinion, he was like top two, top three quarterback in the NFL. Just going against him and getting good quality reps will help me in the long run and it'll help me week by week just going against different uh, quarterbacks that can't do the same thing he can do. She's a Labrador, and she's kind of big. She's only eight months right now, she's already this big. Everybody loves her, she always want to be cuddled. She doesn't bark, she doesn't bite, she just want to be loved. Well, I got my dog when I first got to California when they drafted me, and I just wanted a friend that I can have while I'm up here by myself. I got her from the homeless shelter. I named it Star because when we first walked in there, everybody was looking at her. I was like, we might as well name her Star because everybody loves her, and she's kind of like a star in the homeless shelter. She would be a, a quarterback because she's very smart. She knows what she's doing. I missed five games due to concussion, so she was there throughout the uh, time. I wasn't traveling with the team, so she will just be there. I could just kind of lean on her for like emotional support. I'm an athlete, but sometimes I want to be a, a soft guy. Every time I walk her, she goes downstairs, she races me downstairs. So when I got to the door, she kind of beat me outside and uh, I had to really like chase around the block and try to grab her before she goes on the road and something bad happens. And once I grabbed her, she kind of just started like jumping on me, playing. But I was kind of like mad because I just ran, broke a sweat. It's early in the morning, like eight o'clock, but you got to love her though. All right, so here's the pet challenge. Let's see if Star listens. Hey girl. Go fetch, fetch. Come in. Good girl, good girl. All right, here's the next challenge. Sit, sit, sit. Star, sit. Good girl. Paw, 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 paw. Good girl, here. I liked a lot of players, there were a lot of great players out there, Deion Sanders, Champ Bailey, Charles Woodson, my dad. But I'll just say I modeled my game after my dad's game because we had the same blood and if he can do it, I can do it. It was a little bit more pressure when I was in college because I wasn't in the NFL, but now that I'm in the NFL, I'm at the highest level there is. I just have to stay there and just compete at a high level. So I don't feel like it's no pressure. It never was really pressure to me because I want to make my own name and do what I want to do. Uh, just definitely getting the ball more, uh, ball production, more interceptions, more takeaways for the team. Whatever we have to do to win, that's what I want to do. Thanks for the fans for watching. To check out more videos like mine, like and subscribe.